Hey guys, it's Bridget Lynn Dog of Conscious Economics and Urban Farm Project. Anyway, I had a class today downtown Reno, and I'm always amazed. You know, we do have a couple pre-mud flood buildings. Um, yeah, we have, I think, the courthouse downtown. And then I just noticed this church, right? And so it's rare that I walk it this day and age. And so you can see the church, right? So you can see it's all like pre-mud flood and the architectural design. And then the second part over here, come here, sit down. The second part over here kind of has interesting stuff on it. There's like a shell thing there, a shell symbol, which is very Phoenician, Tartarian. And then it has just some weird architectural design anyway I'm gonna go over there in a minute we're gonna look at it a little closer but just this building does not match this building not anyway even the bricks are different but this is pretty old too and this is weird and then we're gonna go look over here at this one a little closer okay hold on with me right now and we're gonna go across anyway I thought it was kind of interesting because it seems like you know, Reno would not be a place that you would find, you know, like a, a pre-mud flood kind of a situation. So it's just kind of interesting to me. And, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Hold on one second. So I think I'm going to try to cross right here. I'm not, I know I'm not in the crosswalk and I'm probably going to get in trouble you know but I want to just show how weird the second building is let's see if I'm still taping okay so here's this second building that was built sometime after to make to look, kind of look the same and then we have this weird ooh, we have the rose the symbol for cymatics. Um, sit down. And so then we've got this weird kind of column y thing. Come here. And you got the rose. The roses. It's kind of some weird stuff. Usually pretty old cymatic type symbols. You got that weird seashell. It's kind of a weird thing. Anyway, let's go over and look at, on my way, this way, come on. Okay, so there's another weird building across the street, the El Cortez. Jen, come on. <laughs> another weird building across the street come on. called the El Cortez. It's been there a super long time. I have no idea exactly what the story is, but it has this like hand carved marble stone. Like you can kind of see it on the building. Um, and then the whole front of it has kind of like a weird, you know, front stonework. But I bet you all this kind of probably was part of the same thing. Hold on, I've got dog problem. Okay, but anyway, you can see how shimmery all of that hand carved stone is, and even down here on the bottom. And then you can see this heavy, 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 ouch, <clears throat> front stonework is on here on the front. And, you know, looking at the bricks, they're not like these ones either, but they look like, you know, and then you see all this like marble tile here at the bottom, on the very bottom. But anyway, let's look at, okay, let's look at, let's, let's look at the, um, let's go have a look real quick at the, uh, 
at the blurb. I think there used to be a blurb here. Let's see what kind of um, used to have like a blurb here that was kind of about uh, this mud flood building that's a church. Now look at those doors. They're like copper. Yes, ma'am. So let's just take a look here. Sit down. And look, these stones here, they're all granite. These are granite stones. This is like a type of granite. Okay, sit down. Come on. Come on, let's go up. Okay, so sit. Sit down. So we got the front of this church. Let's take a look at some of the stonework that goes all the way up. Up there to the top, the eaves. And then look, look at those copper doors. <laughs> All right, we got some background music. So just checking it out for all my mud flutters, like the stone around the window. It's pretty interesting. And then I wanted to get, come on, over here. Just take a look at that. Hey, come here. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Take the photos you want. Okay. I just wanted to get this. Okay, another, and then the last copper door. And then this is the above symbol. So you got this, you know, incense burner with, uh, Streams of golden energy coming out. Seems pretty weird to me. Anyway, this is a place that, you know, I, uh, I could have sworn they have a, um, don't you, didn't they used to have a sign out here that said, like, the history of the church? Um, yeah, yeah, honestly, I We're just taking a look inside. Stay. I don't think that they're having anything going on. But I don't know if they don't like people to peek in or whatever. But that will be a whole other... I think that will be a whole other video. But anyway, just kind of wanted to showcase some of this stuff. Super bizarre. Bizarro. It's almost like this is being shown as like some kind of um, device, technological device. And then that. We've got the chevron, which is the owl. It's the pattern of the owl. Then you've got this one too. Anyway, a lot of really weird stuff that goes on in Reno. You can see the beveling of the copper. Yeah. And then you have some kind of, look at that, a chain kind of a thing. Anyway, I could have sworn, oh, here it is. Okay, so we have one plaque. And it says that the stairs were built in 1925. So that's pretty interesting. Do you think these copper doors are weird? Definitely strange, especially for Reno. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, you know. All right, guys, thanks. Hold on.